Howdy folks, Quizzical here, and welcome back to the Let's Play of A Hat in Time. Now, we're going to go ahead and head into Alpine Skyline this time, and I'm going to play through these three areas, Lava Cake, Birdhouse, and Twilight Bell. That way you guys can see what you like about those timepieces. However, there are extra secrets that I'm not going to play through, because of the fact I think this game is so good, I would like anyone who is very interested in this game to play it. So, there are going to be some secrets that I'm not going to reveal. Those are for you. That's the, uh, you know, the excuse I'm saying because my recording went absolutely bonkers and didn't work. So, yeah. Needless to say, I'm pretty daggum discouraged because this game is amazing. I love this little game. I would love to see, like, maybe a sequel or more from the company that made this game. <laughs> this area is amazing. Like a little central hub. Now, this mountainous terrain is actually part one. There's actually an area way down there that you'll have to start up with. But this is where you end up. And there are these little people all around it. Have you noticed those bright flashing lights in the sky? They started appearing recently in There's Amy. a bright flashing light if I hadn't have already eaten the birdcage area. So. And before you ask, these are giant mountain goats. They kill you repeatedly. So anyway, let's go to the first one that I did, which will be the Twilight Bell. Oh, wrong thing. That's the hat I'm on. The birds at the birdhouse steal shiny things. Yep, they do. Oh dear. <laughs> I almost screwed myself. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Well, when all else fails, well, I can't do it in this game. Eventually, you'll find out what I do when all else fails in a, any game. No! Eventually, you'll find out what I do when all else fails in a game. It won't be in this one because I don't have the option to do it. I have nothing left to sell. Yep, I bought all the things from Glitchy. Glitchy is nice. The I like Glitchy. Bell is yes, this Twilight way. Bell. This is what I wanted. See, if I'd have managed to get on there and use the ice, I could have made it up here, but I couldn't. So, this is what happens. Zip line! Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Thank you. I might be able to get all three of these done. I hope. So that way I can actually get through some new gameplay. And so that way you guys can enjoy it. But this one is the hardest level so far. Because I have to use... This is the hardest level so far, because I have to use the Dweller Mask to complete it. It is impossible to play the this level. Just ahead. Yes, thank you, adorable Shadow Child. It is impossible. <laughs> Okay, first things first, I'm going to take and use this one because one, if I die, there's no umbrella. There's no reason for the umbrella. None at all. If I die, I... <laughs> if I die, I just die. I'm sorry, you had to hear. I'm trying not to rage that much because I'm already pretty darn ticked off that this recording of this wonderful game 
that I really do enjoy. I enjoy this game a lot. I like this game. The problem... I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. 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 We're going to get it this time. We're going to get it this time. Please, just let me get it this time. The How are you? Bell is just ahead. Okay, thank you. I'm going to be calm about this. Nice. That back in. And we're going to use it again. And now we're going to come over here. Pull it back in. We can do it without the mask. And now we can ring the bell. Not going too fast this time. Because even though the bell only has so much time, we can make it at least to here. And now we can head over and across. We're going to be nice and easy. Nice and easy. Because this game is nice. I enjoy this game. This game is fun. I like this game. And look at that. Glitchy and a time ramp. Meaning. I'm going to have to come all the way back through here for that. Hello, I Glitchy. have nothing left to say. Okay. Thank you, Glitch. Look at that thing. Now, these purple flowers here, these are zombie flowers. They're taking control of the giant goats. Right now, we're going to read the bell. And this takes us into a whole new world! Welcome to the Twilight Realm. I don't yeah. want to try and say anything about copywriting here, but I'm pretty sure we all know of one of my favorite games that this seems to be a reference to. I really do enjoy the game. This guy here is a butt. I can't ring his bell at all. And he makes sections of the blocks disappear. Of whatever surface I'm trying to go through. This whole place is nothing more than a giant puzzle. We're gonna be calm. We're gonna be collected. The raccoons can only be smacked when using this mask. So, welcome to Quizzical Plays Calmly. <coughs> Quizzical Plays Calmly with allergies. Isn't that fun? This whole area is nothing more than red light, green light. It reminds me of the area in Donkey Kong Country from the SNES in which you had to play green, red light, green light with the monsters, those special gremlins. I've already done this wrong. Because here's what's fun. I have to ring this bell and then switch masks. Because otherwise, I won't have time. Just like that. Isn't that nice? Now. Whenever I blow on these horns, it signifies that the level is complete. 
and a certain other area opens up. Uh, you guys aren't going to see that because I've already done it. So, instead, we're going to go over to this secret area that is incredibly difficult to complete because the constant movement of these red spirits means sections of the map disappear at random. No, I will not be doing any form of ASMR. I'm told I might have the talent for it because I can have a very calm voice. But right now, I don't want to be calm. I want Cat Kid to survive. You seen that right there? That was excellent. I barely survived that. It makes me excited. But you don't know that because I'm being very calm right now. I also don't know why this hasn't decided to come back in. Oh well. We have entered the second area. And yes, this here does seem stuck until you use the mask to go through and it's like that. Yeah. It's all like that. See this? It has to go down so far. And yes, that there is an area for the ice hat to be used. It is to be used for a totally different scenario. Basically, I've already collected that yarn. I don't want to try and go for it again. Open that way. That's very nice. For some reason, I can't kill that girl. Congratulations. I murdered it. Now, we're going to use this bell. Which, out of all the bells, actually has a decent usage. Wait a minute. Why do I need to do that again? I'm confused. So, we're going to do this right. We're going to use the ice hat already, so that way when we get up here, everything is ready. Oh, joy. That failed miserably. We'll try this again. I'm also told that this voice seems a tad creepy for some. Now, where is that key? There should be a key somewhere. Somewhere. Because I need a key to get through this second area. So, where is the key? It's not here. Did I mess something up? Hmm. Ah, right over here. Hello, evil spirit. For some reason that impedes my path rather than aids me. This is a fun little mechanic. Because as you can see, this here goes up, but not fast enough for me to go through. This mechanic is interesting. It rings the bell and allows safe passage. Because it kills off everything. Now we're going to go through here, over here, up on these steps. And now we're going to go through the locked door. This is finally working properly. Now we bring this one, then we bring this one. 
then we ring this one. But before we do anything else, we have to ring that bell again. And for that, I found that this is actually a whole lot easier. I don't know how that happened. No, I need you to aim forward. No, aim right for that bell. Bell. This is nuts. Oh, I did it without meaning to. But it's so much easier to ring it with that particular bell, because of this. Without it, you end up having to use the mask. And I don't want to have to do that, because it killed me several times. Now, this allows me to go all the way over here, and behold. All the way up. Now the timepiece would appear to be here, correct? No, it's in here. And if I take the mass power off, I can't move near the timepiece. So, mass power on. And this one is finally completed! happens. To the poor goat people. Now, as you can see, even though I got the timepiece, it lets me stay here. So, next up, we're going to the birdhouse. It's not fun. But it's also the one area, or one of the first areas, I should say, that allows you a separate hidden path. But I'm not going to show that to you. You're just going to see... Me die... Again. This is... Frustrating. The twilight bell is this way. Lovely little ghost child. I want to go. The birds at the birdhouse steal shiny things. Alright. This is the birdhouse. As you can see, there are many zip lines. There's a point for that. The zip lines take you to different areas. Behold. <laughs> As you can see by this, I've already completed this area. The birdhouse is this way. Thank Wait. you. Yeah. Had to be concentrating on that. Because usually I die. Ta-da! Make now. sure you swing towards the path you want. As you can see, there are two different paths. The birdhouse is that way. Which is the way I'm going to show you. That way, unless I'm mistaken, is part of the, as you can see, cat village. And the cat ninjas are dirty, rotten thieves that will knock you off the course repeatedly. Yes, little girl. Let us go. And just, why can't I do this, little girl? I want that one. Just give me that one. And let's go. We're going to swing this way. Goodbye, nasty cat people. Or cat ninja people. I have a feeling that there are cat people in this that are nicer. Because they are featured in the title. And before you ask, yes, this area is mostly all about explosions. Which is slightly better than what you could imagine. Because I can 
actually blow up these little birds who come up and kill me. I don't know what you said, and I don't care right now. I'm trying to be calm. Just like that. For those of you that don't know, and may desire to find it interesting, I have a very, very slight fear of birds. The reason why is mostly chickens. I don't like chickens. I'm afraid I may never like chickens. That way is a special area that I have yet to unlock. Actually, I've never been there. Why don't we see what it's all about, shall we? Ta-da! I survived. I have no idea how I'm gonna get back, but I made it. Uh, what? Oh dear. Apparently, I don't need to go there. So, I just died for nothing. I'll be back. We have returned, and I got a little bit of pent-up frustrations out. No, no, right here. here. No, perhaps here. No, here. Perfect. you say, yes, I know, there's a much easier way to do this, I don't care right now. I don't. Because I'm mostly discouraged from the fact that I lost out on my recording of this originally. Because I do enjoy this game! Fine. I just don't want to deal with all the details of why I couldn't do it. Before long, after this episode, we'll be getting into the more recent gameplay. And it'll be so much better! Because I don't have to worry about dying so much. Now, first things first. There are very many bird enemies here. Including that Luckily, I don't have to worry that much about him. These guys, I have to worry about. Yes, that was an egg. I just blew up. And apparent There's live something egg. strange about some of those eggs. An apparent live egg. They explode with extreme prejudice. And they have killed me several times. And these little guys dart out and just zoom in to me like you just seen. They're not that bright. I don't like them. Oh lord. And yes, behold, crows can't do anything to them. But they're there. So, now we move on to the next area. Ow. Right over here. When I first saw the girls, they were quite cute. Where go? 
going to pretend that didn't happen. Because that was embarrassing to me. Bird. 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 Bird! Oh, yeah, this is it. You're dead. things like yarn and more. As you can see there is that horn up there at the top of the screen which extended this banner. And yes, the incredibly large black yellow-eyed crow chick is asleep upside down. We must be quiet here because we don't know what it can do. So, of course, that means one thing. We're going to bounce on him. Because it's a baby. And Hat Kid respects some babies. As you can see from this animation. No, no, no. Be quiet. The baby's sleeping. area known as the lava cake. Stay tuned. Here we go. Yes, this is long. I have a feeling this is not the longest one. This heat is great! Oh, it's even hotter to the right! That is the secret area we're not going to. We're going this way. And this mechanic doesn't work every time. So this is gonna be lovely. Perfect. I think the game realizes it doesn't want to see me rage anymore. So I'm gonna go this way. This is not the right way. This is the mystifying time mesa, in which case I need a special item, which I don't have at this moment. But, we can go back this way, all the way back to where I was, because I wasted time. This heat is and great! Let's go this way. Goodbye. 
This is the area known as the Lava Cake. There is good reason for it to be known as the Lava Cake. Because, apparently, it's made out of lava, and it's in the shape of a cake, as you can see. Chicken! 10, 11, 12. Dead chicken. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, I'm counting them. I choose to. They anger me. Very many things anger me at this point. Just like that. Now, the lava cake is quite interesting. It's a time race. As in, we're going to have to beat this, this entire is the time. Lava cake. Yes, thank you. 16. 17. I seen you. 18. Things like those pillars go off all the time, as you will soon see. Fire away! Thank you! How'd a place end up like this way? It's not for me to know. I just play the game. I don't ask questions. I'm not in touch with the developers. If I was, well, there might be a few things to decide here. Like, level development would be a little bit more Nineteen twenty. I wonder how many chickens I've killed in this game. Crows, whatever they are. They're not crows because, well, the crows, as we all know, are creatures that lie repeatedly because. They're actually not Hi, this is clear. Hello. That child says, Hello. This is clearly not an area for children. The child is accurate. Now, I could complete the rest, but I choose not to. I think I spy some treasure. Oh, never mind. This is a secret area. As you're going to see, see there isn't actually a time trial, it's just that I like to think of it as one because of how much time basis there is in the jumping and everything else. You have to be careful not to die. Because there's yarn over there normally. And yes, that's a giant knife in the cake. Right in here. Right over here. Over here. Down. Up. 21. 22. 20. All day. Now, 
this is the top of the cake. <sighs> As you can hear, the timepiece is near. It's right over here. All we have to do is get to it. Ta-da! All right. Yes, the plum cake is complete. Now the seed of evil flies away once again into the overwatching goat people. All right. Well, I'm going to show you one last thing before I end the video here. The final hat. Gotcha. The time stop hat. Death is inevitable. Your time is valuable. Press LT to slow down time. Everything around me slows down, except for myself. As you can see, in the banners and the flags, they slow down. Interesting. So, we're going to debut this and all new content for me and you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to, leave a comment. And above all else, if you want to subscribe, hit that bell so that way you can get a notification when the next video is up. Either way, this has been Quizzical. I'm going to go punch something repeatedly until I start feeling better. Laters!